In the next series of videos, I am going to go through several examples with the aim of providing a clear understanding of how to interpret the Horizontal Situation Indicator, or HSI, when it comes to using VORs for navigation. If this is new to you, I recommend you watch the following. VOR Navigation Parts 1 through 5 also watch this series of videos on the Garmin G1000, but in particular the video on the Horizontal Situation Indicator, the video on the CDI soft key, the video on the Heading Knob, Heading Bug, and HDG key, and finally the Dual Nav Knob and Nav Frequency Transfer key, among other videos. Watching these videos will help provide background to what you will learn in this series. In this example, the VOR we are going to focus on is the Forestel VOR. Notice the frequency here is 110.8. We will set NAV1 to that frequency. We are going to dial in to the VOR's 25 degree radial and be on the 2 side of the VOR as it relates to that radial. I've outlined that area in a faded yellow color so you can see that. The from side of the radial is outlined in a faded red color. We have already taken off from KSUS or the Spirit of St. Louis Airport and are heading west and plan to cross at a 90 degree angle to the radial. This means we are going to head west at 295 degrees. We will fly in calm winds to keep things simple for now, so we will not adjust the heading for winds, which normally could cause us to drift off course. So looking at a still shot of the HSI, let's see how this looks. We've got the CDI needle pointing to a 25 degree heading that corresponds to the radial. We are flying a current heading of 295 degrees, we are using the heading bug to keep us on that heading using the autopilot. Notice the two arrow pointing in the direction of the CDI needle arrow indicating we are on the two side as related to the 25 degree radial. Now I have also taken off from the Herman Airport and once again have positioned the plane to be on the two side of the VOR as it relates to the 25 degree radial. I'm going to fly east, but again at a 90 degree angle to the radial. This means heading east at 115 degrees. Again, calm winds to keep things simple. So looking at a still shot of the HSI, we again have the CDI needle pointing to a 25 degree heading corresponding to the radial. We are flying a current heading of 115 degrees and are using our heading bug and autopilot to maintain that heading. Notice once again the two arrow indicating we are on the two side of the VOR as it relates to the 25 degree radial. So back to the flight from KSUS. You can see that as it relates to the 25 degree radial, the D bar is offset to the left of the 25 degree course so our aircraft is positioned on the right side of the 25 degree radial or right of course. This means we have to navigate going left as it were to get closer to the radial. The left I chose is the heading of 295 degrees or 90 degrees to the 25 degree course so I could get there the quickest for this example. On the flight heading east from Herman it is the opposite. As related to the 25 degree radial, the D-bar is offset to the right so our aircraft is positioned on the left side of the 25 degree radial or left of course. This means we have to navigate to the right, as it were, to get closer to the radial. The right I chose is a heading of 115 degrees, which again is 90 degrees to the course to get there the quickest. Now notice for both flights how the D-bar starts to move closer to the center, indicating I am getting closer to the 25 degree radial. 
The D-bar for the flight heading west is moving faster because I am closer to the VOR, where the D-bar for the flight heading east moves slower because I am further away from the VOR. In other words, the sensitivity increases and the range is narrower the closer you are to the VOR. Now notice in the still shot in both examples, the D-bar is now centered for both flights, showing I am now centered right over the 25 degree radial, again on the two side. Notice again the two arrow in both examples. And of course, I won't be centered long as I pass by. For the flight heading west, I am now on the left side of the 25 degree radial, so the D-bar is now deviating further and further to the right of the 25 degree course because I am on the left side of the course and getting further away to the left. For the flight heading east, I am now on the right side of the 25 degree radial and the D-bar is deviating further and further to the left, meaning I am on the right side of the course and getting further away to the right. We will continue with more examples in the next few videos. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.